Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy. It's your boy Z-Dog, man. I got to say this first. I, I usually say it in the end. Hey, man, I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. I got to say that because I'm a YouTuber. All the YouTubers do it. They work for They be getting subscribers. I'm going to say it too, man. Y'all subscribe, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend about me, man. And come check out this content I got. I'm going to make sure I keep some great guests on here. Today, I got a great video director, a movie director, movie script writer, uh, video <laughs> consultant nigga. I'm talking about man, video choreographer. You know all that, man. Choreograph video, photographer. I'm talking about man. Look, man, hold on. He, yeah, man. Uh, wedding, wedding video. You need your wedding film. He the best wedding video man I know. Total media. I'm talking about my guy Larry Coleman. Hey, don't call him Larry. Call him Cole. There you got Cole. C O L U. Yeah, man. Cole, what's going on, Cole? Hey, it's my motherfucking guy, man. Thank you for allowing me on here with you today, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. All right. Hey, look, we, we family now. Nah, we locked in. We family now, man. For real, for real. You gotta be. Mm-hmm. I've mean, been on you half too many times. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. Hey, I've been knowing you for a long time, Cole. Niggas think I probably just came, nah. Well, what's he all fat in there? Nah, but I've been knowing that man for some years, man. Yeah, I say how long... Five or seven. About five to seven years, man. Exactly, man. For real. Yeah. I forgot what we what we what we did. You did something for me first. What was the first thing that brought us to was, doing business? It was one of the we did a lot of a few cover arts, bro. But uh, past that, man, we just we ended up having a lot of conversations on the phone. Mm -hmm. But 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 the artwork is what opened the door, I believe. Yeah, them you know CD I'm covers, saying? man. Yeah, like you do CD great, you do great CD covers. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, for sure. So you had did that old ways, John. Old ways. Me and Tiny Man. Uh huh. You did that cover. You know what I'm saying? You no, did I my uh, Billy Goat, John. The Billy Goat. Yep, uh, sure did. I did something with uh with the old ways with that the one with the uh, leprechaun and all of that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. Like and uh, you did a lot of work for me, man. But it, it was it was like it was like like last year. You had sent me a video. You had sent me a video of somebody, uh, a video you had did for somebody. Because, you know, we always showing each other things. Oh, hey, man, check. Right. I don't shoot video. Right. I shoot film. Yeah. Well, this film, <laughs> he, when he showed me, it was, a, it was a dude rapping. You know what I'm saying? But he shot this film. And it was a fucking film. I ain't going to lie. Because when I watched that, I said, man, I called my guy Tiny Man. As soon as I got through watching that video, I don't, I don't. I don't even know what video it was, man. I need to find that video, man, so I can shout out to the guy. Who who was the guy that video you did for? Because he got a hard video. Man, listen. He got a hard film that you filmed. I couldn't even. I can't even remember what it was, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what? To this day, it's funny that I'm over here talking to you right now. Right. Today, bro. Yesterday's project mm -hmm. marked my 10,000th project completed. I've been in this for 10,000. 10,000? 10, you don't shot 10,000? 10, 10,000. Between photo, between what, photo shoots, between graphic covers, DVD covers, between movies, between music, film, between interviews that I've done, 10,000 projects total. Hey, that's a lot of years. work, Cole. It is. You've been putting in work in, bro. I have. And, 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 and it's thanks to people like you, man. Like, for real. It's mm. thanks to people like you. And they mm. actually, you know, seeing out, they sorting out quality mm -hmm. real, like for real though work is work has been good man life has been good man and i appreciate the opportunity to work with you and get to know you bro that's man, uh, man. connection one thing about uh, uh i always saw this about you i always saw this that you are a perfectionist <laughs> you whatever you doing or whatever you gonna do it's gonna be fucking perfected bro i'm gonna do it to the best of my uh, exactly man and that's how i do I just do it to the best of my ability I can do it, man. But you do that from the get-go. From the first time I, I met you, man, you showed me some shit. I'm like, man, he's serious about the shit he do. He ain't just bullshit, man. He don't just want Z-Dawg money. He don't just want Z-Dawg money. He gonna make, he gonna get my money for sure, but he gonna make sure my shit be on point. You feel me? I have a standard, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And for me to gauge that, bro, my standard is always, first of all, like I just said, I got to make sure that I'm doing the best I can do. Right, right, uh, right. And you know I don't accept all clients. I don't want everybody to work. Mm -hmm. So if I can't believe in it, that means I can't put all of me inside of the project. Right, so right, right, right. I really have 
as much purpose. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna feel fulfilled when I do. Mm -hmm. So man, it, it is what it is what it is. You know, God done put me in a place to where um I can say no to mm -hmm. certain projects and not just be doing it just for the money. So yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Uh, so uh what else have you done, man? You've been in the, uh I know, I just gotta get the fan let the fans know. I know a little about you, man. But I have to ask you questions that's no uh, that the fans don't know about you. Even though if I might know. Have you uh, been in any movies or you did anything like that? You no, know, uh, did any acting or anything? Yeah, yeah, I did a few movies, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Terminus in Love, Fast Money. Uh, let me see. A few commercials here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. uh, stage plays. Right. Uh, you did man, stage which, play? Man, I, I really enjoyed it, man. Yeah. I really did enjoy it. Uh, I've done two, but one of them just keeps sticking out, man. It's mm. called Picture Perfect. I'm going to mm. shout out to B4K Productions in Dyer, Tennessee. Uh, the stage yeah. play, I ain't mean to cut you off, but stage play is like uh, what Tyler Perry used to do, yeah. right? Yeah. Like right there in front of the audience doing it right audience there? Audience right there. Man. How is that? How is that, man? That was, uh, I'd probably <laughs> be nervous. I'd probably be nervous to do that. I don't know. Man, can I tell you something? Yeah. My whole life, I've never been nervous on doing anything. As a mm. matter of fact, the bigger the crowd, man, the better performance you're going to get from me. But right, to be right, right. With the man, mm -hmm. like, I enjoy every avenue of everything that I do in life. Right, whether right. Whether it's photography, whether it's creating graphics, whether it's filming, whether it's... Mm -hmm. I'm a public speaker. Right, right, but, right. But also, you know, by, by professional and licensed, mm -hmm. I'm a teacher also, man. You know, I taught in public school mm -hmm. systems. I taught in penitentiaries. Mm -hmm. You know, I taught in colleges. Mm -hmm. You know, I spoke to whole student bodies before about, you know... Life yeah. and development. Yeah, exactly, and exactly, so yeah. I don't get nervous around people, man. People are what pretty much, uh, man, I love people. Yeah, exactly, so, man. Yeah, I don't I don't meet a stranger, man. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that the uh, the career that I'm in, the life that I live, man, it, it's all about people. I quit a good job, man, at the bank because they put me in a cubicle and I couldn't work with people. Right. I couldn't see people. Mm -hmm. I, when I heard somebody call Z, I'd be like, mm -hmm. I look and want them to start a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I got to have people in my life. But uh, I've done, like, so done a lot of movies, graphics, mm -hmm. photography, film. Yeah, you uh, did a lot, man. You know, uh, I got you. Uh, I Like I said, I, I was speaking of that film, you film, that, that, that dude video. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was speaking of that at first because that video made me call my guy Tiny, man. I said, hey, man, I just saw this film, this video dude shot, man. And it's so hard. I said, man, I'm, I'm going to hit my guy. I'm going to see, can he film our next movie? Because I'm always trying to up myself. I'm always trying to up myself. Always. I've been doing that my whole life. I'm trying to always get better in things as I do and as I go. I can't keep on doing the same thing over and over. That's right. But that video, I had already did my first movie, always. It was great. People love it. It's good. Shout out to my guy, Foley. You did a great job, man. We we, we can be doing a lot of work. You already know. You all you know. But I was trying to, like, get a different look than that one. You know what I'm saying? And I said, T, look at this, this, this video, man. I said, my guy Cole filmed this. I said, man, I'm going to call him and see when he filmed our next movie. I don't even think he never filmed the movie, T. I don't even, I don't even think he never filmed the movie. But we're going to make him a motherfucking director today. I'm going to call him, bro. I called you. I said, hey, man, I don't know the conversation. I just know we end up about to do a movie. Mm -hmm. I said a price to you, right? You said cool, all right? Mm -hmm. Tiny man didn't know this. I called Tiny man after I got the phone talking business with you. Security, we can do the movie, give you this, and we're going to do the movie. Mm -hmm. I called Tiny man. I said, T, I got him. Hey, we got to give him this. Our, our first movie wasn't. This price. <laughs> you hear me, man? Listen. It wasn't price. Yes. <laughs> Our first movie we did wasn't this price. Okay. It was much more. You feel me, man? So our first movie was, <laughs> it was, we paid so for it. So you got me. No. Listen. Kidding. Listen. My first movie was, was not what we paid you. Yeah, I know. You feel me? So we jumped up some levels. You feel me, man? And I said, I told T the numbers. I said, man, we got to give him this here. He said, what? I said, yeah, man. This motherfucker finna be hard. Let me show you something. I, I sent him the video. He said, I'm going to call you right back. He watched the video. 
He said, man, that's a horror. I said, I'm going to look like a movie, don't it? I said, look, we're going to get him to film this horror film. And we got Cole filming this motherfucking Kiki movie. And this is my second movie, one of my, my third movie, but it's going to be my second movie that's about to hit, you know, for everybody to stream. And, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic, bro. I'm talking about you brought everything that I saw on that video that day. You brought everything I wanted to my, to my eyes. You did that, bro. I ain't bullshit, man. You know, I, I like to thank you for taking me up, you know, listen to all bullshit lines we had. You know, we was first, we first, uh, at, we first directors man, and writers. Stop it. You know stop what I'm saying? Y'all do a great job, man. And the thing is, right, regardless of what level you go up and mm -hmm. you work with who, right? Right. It's like, it's an art, man. There is no fixed way to do this. Mm -hmm. It's just about having a vision. And then having the dedication to the actually to the craft, man. And then right. doing your very best, man. Like the people that's making millions of dollars off film and or music or whatever it is that they're doing, right? Right. Yeah, it's good that they got to that level. Mm -hmm. But everybody started where? Exactly where you started. Right, right, right. You right. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now the whole issue, the, the the greatest thing about this is, man. Whenever you get to make connection with people with a vision is that, like y'all believe in my vision, mm -hmm. y'all believe in, in, in what I do, man. And right. I, so I can't sit here and, and let you down talk or downplay what it is that you guys already had on the table for me to look at. Mm -hmm. Y'all did a great job when y'all when y'all put together this idea to make this project. It right. just so happened right. that you mm -hmm. know I'm blessed enough to be able to work with the two of you. Mm -hmm. and come. Hey, shout out Tiny Man who ain't here who's yeah. really tiny too, about four foot. That's my guy, man. That's my guy for life, man. Pounds. You know, but for they real, for real. They some good characters, man. They some good guys, man. And they, it, it goes further than music and movies. You know, man. Like I said, man, it's family, man. I really, you know, they welcome me in. Man, mm -hmm. I feel welcome. Like, hey, man, uh, when we did that film, uh, and I, I, I went across the, the, the story with you. And you, I was just telling you the story. We, I really was just going off the fly with me and Tiny Man, the little strip thing we had. Yeah. And you said, man, that sound fire, man. That sound tight. And I was like, yeah, that's going to be it, you know. But once we finish, man, it's so hard, man. I can't wait to show that. I can't, I can't wait to let everybody else see it, man. For real, for real. I know they'll enjoy it. Yeah. They won't say that uh, you mm -hmm. just do something together. That's what they won't say. No. Uh, it's some yeah. quality behind this. Mm -hmm. Some real quality behind this. Mm -hmm. I can't wait, man. You did a great job, man. I had to shake your hand again for... Uh, for doing that, man, cause we 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 got more work we finna do, and you know that's just the that's just the starting point, cause you know for real for real, cause I, that's how I always felt, you know if I start something, shit, just, why not finish it, man? Why not keep on going? Sometimes niggas start shit with niggas, man. Some niggas just get bigger. Like, hey, man, now you gotta pay me a million now. Look, man. you know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> I'm just... that's the thing. People yeah. are consistent. Yeah, people are consistent and. Mm. and and to them, it's about a, a one payday, and it's mm -hmm. not about building a, a, mm -hmm. a relationship that's gonna last. Right, you right. Know what I'm saying it's mm -hmm. about let me get as much as I can get right now, and mm -hmm. then just you know, hey, I'm done with them. Yeah, uh, I'm through with mm -hmm. them. But no, man. What I really, I understand this though. Yeah. If I'm if I'm uh, elevating my life, and I was charging you two hundred dollars yesterday, right, and I just got this mean gig, and I know I'm I'm, I'm I've been on another level. I'm not gonna keep on charging you. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna charge you a thousand, but right. give me two fifty now. Give me, give me three hundred. I went from real small to just a little, man. I didn't bust your head because I, I understand business too. I don't want to keep on coming to my fucking Martin Lawrence, asking him to do something for me for five hundred dollars that he was doing before he was Martin Martin Lawrence. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I understand business because now I know he is this uh, person. I just, I just said Martin Lawrence. I don't even know Martin Lawrence. But I'm just speaking of a person that's, that right. be that has grown in life. You know what I'm saying? But I understand business. I understand. I can't keep on getting him too hard. He ain't finna bust my head though. I know because he's my guy. But I have to give him what he said. Give him. Yeah. If he say, man, look, okay, you used to give me two hundred, man. Now give me three hundred. I gotta get three. Okay, I understand business. But when it gets to a certain level, niggas say, man. You, I always met some niggas like this. Right. Man, hey, man, I was giving you two hundred now. Man, now you gotta give me two thousand. Like, damn, bro, you know me, but I am not. I'm not coming to you for something free, though. I'm not coming to. you. I'm offering right, to pay you right. from the get go. I don't right. want nothing free. 
But I'm coming to pay you. But some niggas will up that price ten times. Well, listen. Mm-hmm. From when I, I've been doing this for twenty plus years, right? Right. So the thing is, the guys that started out with me mm-hmm. when I first started, guess what they paid me? My mm-hmm. same starting pre starting price. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Because right. Because without them, man, I wouldn't never got to the point to where I am right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And one of the issues that I really let's give them, give them, I'm gonna give you a little game. We get this. This giving out for a game. This giving out for a game. game. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, a lot of people say they want to win, but they really don't know what winning. Means. Right, right, right. You win through your journey while you're on your journey based mm-hmm. on the connections that you make. Right, right. right. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, in order to really win, you have to make adjustments in your life so mm-hmm. you can continue to win and not just win at one time. Right. So when it comes to me dealing with you or any of my other clients, mm-hmm. right, it's a certain level of uh, respect that I have to pay you. Minus the money, it's right, about right. the time and it's about right, what we're right. going to do together and what mm-hmm. we're building. Now, right. let's just say this Kiki movie, which it is, mm-hmm. movie called Kiki, you know what I'm saying, directed by myself, mm-hmm. and written and screenwriter by Z Dog and Tiny Man. Mm-hmm. Great project. Let's just say this movie take off mm-hmm. because it is, and you get a big bag on it. Right, right. Well, it's time to produce another one after Kiki. It Kiki's, is, right. right. Well, we produce. We, we, we did this project together and we got a big bag on it. So mm-hmm. now the budget on that project, the mm-hmm. budget now has increased. Now yes. we're able to do this and do that. Yes, man. So now we all get to get a bigger piece of the pie. Right, right, right. right. I don't have to bust his head mm-hmm. because the game is to win. Yes, man. More than once. Mm-hmm. Life mm-hmm. continues on. So therefore, for good business to continue on. You got to make adjustments. Mm-hmm. Not just adjustments that's going to be comfortable for yourself, mm-hmm. but for the whole. What's right. good for the whole. You're right. What's good for the whole mm-hmm. is what we need to do. But I'm, uh, on my end, I just want to pick it back off there. I'm always picking back on people's words, huh? I swear, I swear, I am. I swear. But I just want to say this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they didn't pick it back off that. Hey, let me, uh, let me. I'm, I just want to say it because I felt that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that, that threw me all the way fucking off. Right there, man. What you were just picking up again? You gonna pick it back on? You gonna pick it back off? I just forgot. All right, so you gotta make adjustments in your man, life. man. Make adjustments. Hey, man, in your I life forgot game. what the fuck I was finna say. I was gonna give y'all some five games. I was gonna give y'all some five games just then. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get to you. It's mm-hmm. Make adjustments yeah. in your life so you can I got continue it. to win. I got it. You got it. I got it now. If it's wrong, it with came you. to me. It came to me. Let man. me hear it. It's just if you're a real nigga, right? See, we did this movie. He spoke of okay, this Kiki movie. Don't get, get we just got a bag for it. I said, my man, they just gave us such and such numbers. I already paid him for the film. Me, I'm, it's me though. I, can, I only can speak for me. And I know my guy Time Man will feel the same way. If we got a big bag, say if mother gave us that, that bag for it, I will come, even though he ain't asking for nothing else after we paid him. Me. I would say, Cole, my uncle just gave us something, man. Hey man, here go you a little something, man. Let's go, let's go film this other junk. I'm, I'm gonna give you way more. I gave you the first one. People ain't cut like that. You know what I'm saying? Our uh, mm-hmm. people in this culture we live in, mm-hmm. man, let me get what I can get. I paid you. So mm-hmm. everything on the back end, which I told you this in the beginning. Remember what I right. mean? I'm like, man, all I accept is what our contract states that I get. The rest right. of that, I don't want no back end for mm-hmm. nothing. Well, a business person that does this film, so they'd be like, well, you're losing out. You know, it's mm-hmm. one to be gotten in the future because right. they will make something off of it. Well, guess what? Mm-hmm. I have faith, and then I know that if I do good business and they get a bad because of this, mm-hmm. they're going to want to revisit. And that's doing good business. That's doing good business. And that's doing good business. Learn how to do good business. I'm going to have to post my, my other words I said, man. Doing good business, man, takes you a long way. Take you a long way, man. But I am going to get a percentage on this next big project. Yeah. In now. <laughs> yeah. For sure, so man. we understand that. Though. Yeah, man. For All sure. Right. So, you know, that's I'm just saying that's going to be just me. Like I told my guy for him, nigga, niggas paid us that bag for that motherfucking old ways movie, man. I'm going to come throw you something called, man. We, was, right. we in this shit together. Right. You know what I'm saying, man? But I, I, I'm not a nigga. I ain't obligated to do it because we already paid them. I'm just saying I have to speak for me. If a nigga gave me the bag, I come throw him some, bro. I, I'm, I will come throw every motherfucker that acting in that motherfucker some because I didn't have it then. Now a nigga got here, I can get y'all a little more, man. I can get y'all a little something. You know what I'm saying? Because for a nigga just pay, gave me that bag, I can get y'all something, now, man. 
You know, and what mm-hmm. y'all doing, man, that a lot of people not doing. Y'all, right. y'all actually make sure if anybody has anything to do with y'all projects, y'all are actually giving them something. Like, yeah, man. Know, y'all paying, y'all make sure everybody gets something every mm-hmm. time for their time. Yeah, man. That y'all appreciate people's time. Every time I come get on my movie, man, I give them something. Yeah. Now, I don't hear plenty of people say, Z-Dog, you don't got to give me nothing. I still give them some, man. Take right. this, man. I walk off from your ass right there. I hand it to you, and you can ask. They niggas can and they can vouch for you because I have did because I I want to give you something, man. Damn, because I don't want nigga be like man. Nigga didn't give me nothing. I did. I thought about you. I I don't got it right now. I gave you something, though. I gave you something. You no, know? it's just me, man. It's just me. I'm putting out positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I used to have a problem looking for me and other people. I used to look for me and other oh, people. Man. I used to have a problem with that. I was like, man, what the fuck you ain't doing? I thought I do it, but you ain't. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I used to have a problem with that. As I got older, I, I like uh. You had a reality check. Yeah, I did. I can't start looking for month. I can't start looking for me and other people, man. <laughs> for real, they not me. I understand now. I understand now, man. That ain't me. Everybody don't want you to have a good feeling about yeah, life. Yeah, man. For so real. You yeah. can't expect you out of other people, man, because it's just not mm-hmm. going to work out. Yeah, like I used to do now, that, every though, Every once in a while, mm-hmm. every once in a while, you, you will see that, 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 that you know, they giving back that. I found that video, man. Oh, you talking about Mo Hazley, the Forever John. I yeah. found that video, man. Mo hey, Hazley, shout out man. Mo Hazley, man. That's a super talent. He actually, I told you about yeah. that, the Red Bull. Mm-hmm. The Red Bull thing or whatnot. Right, like that. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lady, lady, yeah, lady, yeah, yeah. Great job, there, man. That's the video I saw right there, man. Go but, check it out, Mo Hazel Forever. That's what it's called. It's mm-hmm. the video to lock them in. I directed it, I shot it, and mm-hmm. he's a super talent in it. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, yeah, I was looking for that. I was looking for that that uh that feel right there, that that cinematic look. I was looking for that cinematic look, man. Yeah. And you was the way you was moving the camera. It was like he sold me. Cause I feel like I got a great eye for certain things, yeah, I, for real. So I feel like you know, we, we got something real good, man. For real, for real. Cole, what you got coming up next, man? What's what's next for Cole, man? All right. So basically, I have a film that's already in process. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been started before Kiki. Right. Uh, it's called Collusion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kendrick Watts. Uh, it's a great. It's a great. It's a great movie. It's, a great mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's actually a real. Project right now, true right. story. Right, right. right. Locked up, the men locked up. Y'all know, uh, Kendrick Watson. All you gotta do is Google it. Mm-hmm. Uh, besides that, man, I, you know, I have multiple projects that come in throughout the day, or some things and businesses that I have run mm-hmm. on the side as far as providing marketing resources. And, uh, right, right. And that's promotions and whatnot like that. Uh, now I just live life, man. That Say is that, what man. It is, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we were talking about some, uh, you got a lot of shit going, man. I like, like I said, man, you my brother now, man, for real. We gonna always be doing something. <laughs> hey, we gonna, hey, we gonna always be doing something. When we do this TV, we gonna do something else. It's just how I gotta be, man. We 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 met each other working, and we gonna be putting that work in. I'm waiting on that one jukey move. Man, I, 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 want, I want to do that jukey <laughs> move so bad, that. man. It's, no, it's gonna. I won't do that. You I, got the originators. Why not? You yeah. got. You got the ones who actually started that message. I just feel like it's gonna be hard me getting these jukers together, man. But I'm gonna try. Why don't you talk to them? I'm going to try. Well, I'm looking for all jokers, man. I'm looking for all Memphis jokers that want to be in this movie I got coming up next, man, called Side to Side. I'm pouring my heart to you right now. Hey, look, man. I know y'all, a lot, a lot of y'all don't believe in me, but you just, man, you got to take that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put us on the big screen. I'm, just, I'm looking for some jokers, man, to be in this movie. Feeling about my guy Cole, man, for real. I need some jokers, man. Feel like you can joke, man. Get with me, man. And I'm, a, I'm, a, we're gonna do this movie, man. It's gonna be called Side to Side. It's about a guy that come up in Memphis that uh, mm-hmm. trying to learn how to joke. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell him too much. But what you can tell him mm-hmm. is the, the music that's gonna be behind. It's gonna be some great Memphis music, man. A lot of these music songs that y'all be joking to. I'm, I'm gonna reach out to Three Six Mafia and see can I get that. Uh, Twisting my body from side that side to side song. You know, some of my music gonna be in there. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have great music for y'all to juke to now. You know I'm from Memphis. I know what y'all want. I know what y'all want to juke to. Can you juke? 
I, you know, everybody from Memphis know how to do at least one juke and move. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't give a fuck if it's a step. You know what I'm saying? Nigga know how to do some juke and moves. You from Memphis. Everybody know how. You know, I ain't no juker, but I love to watch them, them guys and females juke. I love it, man. If I want a rapper, I would have learned how to juke. That would have been my next thing in hip hop I would have been learning how to do. Because all when I was young, I was break dancing. But I stopped once I started doing music. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I would have learned how to juke. I would have, I would have went to class for that shit. Lady Yates would have taught me, man. Uh, man, for real. Terry would have taught me. G Nerd would have taught me. My nigga, man, Dream would have taught me how to juke, man. I would have been trying to be one of the best. I ain't bullshit. That's how I mean. I'm trying to be one of the best rappers. So I would have been trying to be one of the best jukers, man. See, though. Mm-hmm. Now, you invited me over here. Well, right. I have a question to ask you. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, because... For the most part, we always the one that's, you know, interviewing other folks. But I got a question. All right. You can answer it if you want. Mm-hmm. Z Dog, do you feel like you are where you should be? Right now? Yes. Explain. Yeah, I feel like I'm where I should be, man. I'm married. And, and I'm all, I always I'm married. I'm married. I got my kids doing good. I'm, I got good health. And I ain't just been the type of guy that just need that million, man. Just let me live comfortable. I just want to live comfortable, man. Do what we do, me and my wife do, what my kids do. I'm happy with that. I don't have to know. I'm just a humble guy, man. I don't, like, yeah, I'm happy where I'm at, bro. Even if I didn't get that million. Even if I didn't buy a Lambo. I don't yeah, care. Please. Hell yeah. All right, so that's why I wanted to ask you that question. Mm-hmm. Uh, free game for y'all, man. If y'all don't prioritize your peace, you'll live a life that's full of stress. Mm -hmm. That life is gonna consist of having people around you to stress you out. Have you going to a job to stress you out? Right. Have you waking up and looking in the mirror and what you see you're gonna be stressed out mm -hmm. by? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you a great guy, man. I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna give you your flowers right now, bro. I yeah, the chat said y'all gotta give me my giving trophies. out free game. She said y'all gotta get dudes they trophies, hey, not look, they flowers. Little chat. Oh, you did a great job. <laughs> yeah, I playing she, in the movie Kiki. Hey, she killed it, man. Hey, shout out to Lil Chat, man. Because <laughs> yeah, I swear she it. killed it, man. On the fly. Yeah, we get her outfit and everything done that right day, that one day, and she showed up and knocked it out and took it serious, bro. On to my want to laugh or nothing. On to my she took it serious and she listened to what we said. Hey, we need you to do this, we need you to do this. And she she murdered it, bro. Shout out to Lil Chad, man. For Shout real, for real, She bro. got a project coming out too. Yeah, she do, she do. And it might be put together by Z Dog and China, man, and I might be the one that... Uh, yeah, man. Right. It's, exactly, yeah, bro. Yeah. For real, for real. We, we got to work with Lil Chad, man. Love we got to work with Lil Chad, man. For real, for real. Hey, we were talking about something before we started filming, man. Mm -hmm. And we gonna, we, I want to uh, talk about that before we get up out of here, Cole. Okay. It was, uh, we was, I was asking one of my partners this question on... Um, how long would the hood hold you? Niggas say, what you mean, how long would the hood hold you? Let me give you a scenario. Uh, this is a scenario I gave to my, my partner. I said, yo, if your little brother, no, if your son at school fighting and some, some dude jumped on him, would you go up there and handle the business and take care of that yourself and you got other kids and a wife at home? You know what I'm saying? Or... What you just say, hey man, call the police. What 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 would you do, Cole? Now they say at say you in your forties. They at school. They, they at school. Fight. They fight. And they jump on. Yeah, some school. dudes, yeah, some dudes jump on him at school. <sighs> well, me as a parent. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. this is my son, right? Right. Or my daughter. Mm -hmm. Uh I gotta get some details. Yes. Uh, I'm a thinker. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not just you know, a person is going to take action. It's going to run and jump just because. Mm -hmm. Because it, it could be some things that took place. Okay. A lot of y'all out there, uh, excuse my language, y'all going to say, but man, real nigga, I'm going to be there. Real nigga, real nigga. Well, most real niggas that I know, they either locked up or they did. Because mm -hmm. they didn't what? Think. Right. Because right. they didn't think. Now, coming up, growing up, you fought your own battle. But nowadays these folks so soft that ain't no such thing as fighting their own battle. They wanna they wanna mm -hmm. collab, jump, and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up there. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna make sure it don't go any further than what it has. Exactly. I'm gonna find out what the issue was. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna find out, well, what did it happen? And uh 
who was around because I mm -hmm. send my kids to school to learn. I don't send them to have to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'm going to hold them and that establishment accountable mm -hmm. for it actually taking place there. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to hold my son accountable too for being a part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, son, what could you have done to prevent that? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not punking out by no means. And I tell my kids, stand up for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, but if he give me an answer, daddy, I was doing this and it's the reason they, they got on my butt. Mm -hmm. uh, daddy, I said this. Well, I'm going to look at my son and I'm going to ask the question. But this is a question I had to ask myself all the time coming up. Mm -hmm. um, if I do this, mm -hmm. then what's going to happen because I did this? Right. Right. And if the results, if the prize was an ass whooping that came behind that, mm -hmm. you're going to have to show me who did the battle. You're going to have to give out some ass whooping. I'm going to take one and you're mm -hmm. going to take one. Right, I'm right. calling the police. Mm -hmm. Well, if it happened at school, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have to call the police. Right. So maybe right. that maybe that example that you gave me should have been more like yeah, how, how would you how would you handle it? Yeah, I should have used that scenario yeah. of, of somebody uh no. like you know stealing your car outside. Taking it would to you, the street. Would you go take it to the street or would you call the police? Do I know where my car? Is? No. Well, hell, I got to call the police. <laughs> I'm just saying some niggas would try to go find out where they call I got to call the police mm -hmm. because in order for my insurance to replace my car, right, right, right. I got to have a police I, 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 pro I probably hear uh, some bullshit scenarios, but I just want to speak on that. I got that, one for you. Though. I just want to speak on that type, of, that type of situation. How long would the hood hold you? How long would it take you for like, hey, man, I'm going to let the police handle it there. I can't crash out. Well. Because some niggas going to crash out at... 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 years old. And they got a family at home and kids. Some people will, which I don't knock them. Some people will crash out and just, just say fuck it for doing something. You know, and they ain't thinking, man. Some niggas don't think I heard. Think. Yes. And, yes. And remember I just said a minute ago, prioritize your peace. Your mm -hmm. peace is everything that you allow to come within your area. Right. Now, let's take it. I'm going to give you a scenario. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you my stance on that scenario. Mm -hmm. Uh. You out of town, Z dog, mm -hmm. and your mom or your kids at the house, mm -hmm. but you know somebody finna go over there. Mm -hmm. You know somebody finna go over there with malicious intent to hurt, harm, and put your family the ones you love and mm -hmm. none of your dudes around to to pull up and protect them. Right. What do you do? Do you call the police and send them over there? I do. Or do you let somebody just go on in there and willfully hurt? Them? I'm gonna call the police. You know man. what? You know I'm gonna what, call the police. But you know what? Some mm. of the, some of the, yeah, I'm saying it. Some of the real niggas will say, "I ain't calling no police." They'll say that around their group of friends. But get what? When I ask them that personally and I give them the detail, mm -hmm. I ain't call the police. I ain't yeah. Call. And they say that as they sit back, I ain't call the police. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. We yeah. men, man. We yeah. not real niggas. We are men with. And, and we got families, yeah, and man. we love the people that we that we connected to, man. Right, and man. We don't want to see nobody. It's just a time in life you have to start thinking. You got to. It's a it's a time in life where you have to start doing younger things, man. Things you used to do back in the days. Throw that shit out the window. You ain't young no more. There's a time in life where you have to think, think, man. You have a family. You have a wife. You have other kids at home. Think. That's all I'm saying, man. And if you love your partner or your yeah. homie that you down with. That you down for, if you care anything about them, guess what you want to do? Mm -hmm. You want to run and jump into something stupid mm -hmm. on the strength that you know they're going to come right behind you, regardless of the fact. Right. And they're going to swing. And they, they might be the one to catch a knife or catch a, catch a bullet mm -hmm. over some stuff that you could just avoid it just yeah, by man. doing what? Thinking. Yeah, man. Because you know, if, if I go, I know you coming. Why I'm gonna let you come behind me and die over something? Stupid. Exactly, man. For real, for Thanks, real, man. Hey, man, y'all give my guy Cole, man. He doing great films and he doing great things, man. Y'all be on the lookout for that Kiki movie, man. I can't get y'all no date right now in time, but I'm gonna tell you what. It, when it's come, it's perfected and it's gonna be one of them. It's gonna be him. You know what these people be saying? That's him. Oh, he him. Oh, this movie. Yeah, uh, it's him. <laughs> That's him. That's him, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Hey man, look, my hey, guy. Shout Cole. out to Juju first. Man, yeah, shout out to little Juju, man. Oh, the girl that played played Kiki, man. Little Julia Ward, man. For real, for man. We shout out to you, man. Cause you did you did your thing in there, man. Everybody's in this film, man, did a great job at acting. Mm -hmm. Everybody. 
I ain't gonna lie, I can't say nothing about it, man. Everybody did a great job, everybody did their thing. Cole did a great job with the graphics, the texture of it, man, the camera movements, the editing, the sounds, all that. Shout out to my guy Tiny, man, for sitting here, man, putting a nice Oscar, man, video chat, man, call each other back to back, getting shit right. Making sure we doing this, man. Making sure we got this. I'm talking about we taking notes, man. Like we in the fucking, like, man, for real. <laughs> hey, man, that's another episode of Giving Out Free Game. And it's your boy Z Dog. Yeah.